Merry meet, magical family. It's nice to have you here. I'm Lady Silver Sage, and you know what? The goddess is alive and magic is afoot. That's right. And today we are calling on the goddess Hecate, great goddess Hecate, to help us break through any financial blocks that we may be having. Now, normally, when you do a financial spell or a money spell, you should be doing this when the moon is growing fuller, okay? But there are some situations where, like right now, in the world, things are just going haywire. And you're going to have to roll with the tides, okay? And sometimes that means hitting the ground running and doing the things that you normally wouldn't do. And... So this video, I want to show you guys how you can use magic, witchcraft, and the goddess Hecate to break through your financial blockages, to bring in the money that you need, whether it be quick money or long-term stable money. It's up to you. You see, the thing is, is that you've got to have it in your mind, in your heart, and in your soul, what it is that you need and what it is that you want. And you have to have a pretty good idea of how you're going to accomplish this. Now, that's what I'm here to show you today. This is going to be a two-part video because we have other things that we're going to do. Today, we're basically just prepping, okay? So we are going to make an oil that we can use to anoint yourself with and that you can use to anoint your ritual objects with that you have on your altar perhaps or that you have around your home that are filled with magic that can help to imbue it even more and oh and one more thing you can use it to um to anoint your candles okay your spell candles that you're going to use whether those are in a glass jar whether they are the regular taper candles or whether they are just tea lights any kind of uh, candles birthday candles these little tiny skinny candles that are about so long and they're just really tiny and skinny you can use any type of candle that you want to use you just have to understand that you you are the magic Okay, I'm the magic. And these are the tools that help us. Now granted, when you're working with herbs, herbs, quieter if you're German, or when you're working with crystals and stones, okay, that comes from Mother Earth, of course. Everything does. Everything comes from Mother Earth that has ever been created. Comes from Mother Earth. Okay, but these things in particular, okay, these are the things that I, for example, as an earth witch, an earth, an eclectic earth witch, let's say, because that's what I am, I use these things to really connect with Mother Earth and her powers and her energies. And you can also, even if you're an air witch, for example, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what type of a witch you think you are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what kind of a, a witch you know you are. Let's put it that way. Because everything comes from the goddess. Okay, the goddess resides in everything. Now, what we're gonna do today, like I said, we're gonna make the oil, and then we're going to make some incense also, whilst we're making the oil. Because we're gonna be using this in the next video, these two things, in the next video to complete this spell okay so the first thing you're going to need i've got them written down here if you want to write them down it's up to you put it in your book of shadows in your journal your book of knowledge whatever you'd like to call it a piece of paper a piece of toilet paper whatever you have to write it down on you're going to need a carrier oil this can be just a cooking oil that you use in your kitchen that's okay um you're going to need patchouli whether it be the oil or the incense. But I'm gonna tell you, for me, I'm gonna put the, um, the, the dried incense into the oil and in the incense that we're gonna make, okay? The patchouli leaves, 
okay? So you're welcome to do both, it's up to you, but I would suggest that you use the dried ingredients if you have them. If not, you know, well, if you've been in witchcrafting long enough, if you've been a practicing witch long enough, you'll know that you can substitute these things for different things that will work well also. But the ones that I have here, I find to be optimum for what it is we're going for, okay? So, here we go. Carry oil, patchouli, peppermint, peppercorns, black preferably, basil, cinnamon, peppermint, and coffee. Now with coffee, I like to use the beans, okay? You're welcome to use the beans or the ground coffee. It's okay, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. Um, green aventurine, gonna need that. You're gonna need golden citrine, this here. Red jasper, especially red jasper. Very, very important in what we're doing here today. And you're also going to need quartz crystal, all right? You're going to need a holder for your oil, your anointing oil. You're gonna need a holder for your, um, your incense that we're making. You're gonna need a mortar and pestle or something you can grind with. Even if you want to use the electrical ones, that's okay, that's not a problem. It just depends on what you feel comfortable with. And you're going to need a bowl, okay? I like to use a wooden spoon so I can take my ingredients out. And we're going to use some sage so that we can cleanse everything, okay? And no, I still have not gotten around to making that smudge stick that I want to make, the smoke stick. Um, I'm going to do that. I promise you I will. <laughs> but right now, let's get on with this. We're going to use the sage. And I've got my handy dandy lighter here. And <laughs> we're going to light this sucker up. <laughs> now, there's so many things going on in this world. And they're messing with people's money. Don't mess with the people's family. Don't mess with the people's money. Okay, that's how I see it. So here we go. Cleanse away all negativity. Cleanse away all negativity. Cleanse away all negativity. Cleanse away all negativity. Cleanse away all of that would hinder us from achieving our goal. Hey, and here we go. Let's put this here, and put this here. All right. First thing I want to start out with is my Bailey. Uh, my Bailey. <laughs> Bailey's? <laughs> is this Friday? No. <laughs> no, um, basil is what I meant to say. This is Tulsi and Basil. I think that's where I got Bailey's from. Tulsi, Basil, yeah. So I'm going to put about five spoonfuls in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is some really, really powerful stuff when it comes down to drawing money and blocking, excuse me, busting the blockages that are prohibiting a person from receiving their money because you know sometimes people can be nasty in this world and they can speak evil into existence without even trying they can send uh, evil thoughts your way and block whatever it is that you're trying to do now this right here what we're making is specifically for blocking uh, for breaking the blockages um, with regards to your finances okay and this stuff here uh, I'm, I'm serious I've used it and it honestly works it really does 
and that's why I've decided to um, combine it with a few other things that I've used in the past and this for example is patchouli I am almost out of patchouli so I'm gonna have to order some more I'm not gonna put a lot in there but oh my gosh have you ever smelled patchouli oh the scent is intoxicating it really is all right next thing we're going to put in here will be peppermint Ooh, peppermint I'm putting quite a bit of peppermint in here because number one I have it growing in abundance you can grow it in buckets and pots you can grow it in pans you can throw it out in the garden and it just starts growing and if you're not careful it will take over your garden and peppermint is so strong to help uh, break blockages and to help your financial situation to become that which you wish it to be. It's got a lot of magical properties in it with regard to money and with regard to uh, breaking the blockages that come along in everyday lives. Um, not just for finances, but for other things also. Okay, but today we're using it for this. Right, right, right. We're gonna use some of these black peppercorns because this will make it go. That's right. It's gonna make it go. Let me put these over here, I've already used them. It's going to really enhance. Let me just use my spoon. Now I'm just gonna put a whole, well, about a half a teaspoon in there. Yeah. Because I know what peppercorn can do. And if you've used it before, you know also, excuse me, it is hot in here. Woo. We are up into the 90s here in Germany. And it is hot. We're not used to that here. We don't have air conditions in most places here. <laughs> Especially not the houses. Yeah. I'll be missing America sometimes. I really do. But anyway, not to complain. So we've got these two other ingredients. We've got the coffee and we've got the cinnamon here. Those are very hard ingredients. And so we are not going to put those in just yet. Now, what we are gonna do, we're gonna pour this into here. I guess I could have poured it in there before, but. Get in there, get in there, come on. Yeah, made a mess. But that's okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our stamper in our cup mortar and pestle and we are going to um, grind this up and whilst we're doing that we are going to imbue this with our intentions of breaking all of the blockages that are holding us back financially that the, the blockages that might be, like I said, ill will, ill wishes, ill thoughts, or somebody actually doing a blockage spell on you. Okay, so have this in your mind. See it just breaking through all of these financial blockages and difficulties. Ooh, child, I'm sweating, sorry. And <laughs> And see it just just breaking through that okay because we're putting that intention into here and that is what this is going to do for us okay and like I said if it's quick money that you need or long-term money long-lasting money whatever it may be put your intention into it and I mean with your whole heart, really go for it. Don't just, as we say in my family, don't just fake Jake around, okay? Really put your intention into this. Get in there and grind it up. Gotta use the muscles, you know? Grind it up, that's right. Let me get quiet for a moment, I'll be right back.
So here we are. Now what we're gonna put in here is the coffee because we gotta make it hurry and we wanna make it strong. We wanna make it as strong as possible to blend in with our needs. Putting that coffee in, stirring it in. And if you notice, I'm not just stirring it clockwise. I'm stirring it here and there, everywhere, scattering all that chaotic energy. And now we're putting in this cinnamon. This cinnamon here, oh, it's the real thing, okay? And it smells so wonderful. It is so strong. And this is going to put you on the uh, next level of your spirituality, of your, your spiritual quest here. This is going to really pump up the volume on your the spiritual activities that you're doing, any type of potions that you may be making, any type of magical recipes, anything that you're doing, whether it be something that you're drawing to you or something that you are pushing away from you, use the cinnamon because this is a very, very spiritual herb or herb or crater if you're German. Very spiritual and it's very powerful. So you put this in here, stir it around all different directions because we are, the reason that we're stirring it in all different directions, like I said, is because we are killing this chaotic energy that might be upon us, that might be coming towards us, that might be lingering around us. And we are getting rid of that right now. Okay. Now what we're going to do, let me move this out the way because I don't need that anymore. We are going to put some oil in here. Now I'm not going to put a lot of oil in here because I like to make mine uh, fresh every few months. So you might see me doing this again. But I am going to put at least half full. There we go. About half full. Oops. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to spoon this into our oil. Okay. Okay. Let's put that here. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to put the green aventurine in here. I love green aventurine. It's got such a soothing feeling. Can you see that? It's got such a soothing feeling. When you hold it into your in your left hand, you can feel it tingling. You can feel the vibration of the stone. This is used for healing and it's used for money purposes, financial purposes. And we're putting that in here. Put as many pieces or as few pieces as you want, but I recommend that you put it in here because this is power. And it vibrates with, wait a minute, it vibrates with your own vibrations for what we're doing here today. I'm going to put some in my incense blend. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to put some golden citrine in here. Now this stuff is amazing. <laughs> Number one, it changes your attitude. It helps to drive away all of your blues, your depression. It really helps if you have depression, if you're sad, if you're scared, if you're worried, if you're anxious, it helps to drive all of that away. Okay. It also brings luck. It helps to, to bash 
the blockages and to open a way for you. Okay, this is Golden Citrine and it works very, very well. We're putting some here in our incense. Another thing, um, yes, we're putting this here in the incense, these stones, because we're gonna burn this um, on a charcoal block and you can also roll your candles in it as well. Okay, but we'll be getting to that at another time. Um, what I wanted to say is the reason that I'm putting this in here is because if your stones, your crystals are real, when you burn them on that block, it's not going to hurt them. Okay. That's one way that you can tell if your crystals and your stones are real. When you set fire to them and nothing happens, you know that they're real. Okay. Now we're putting this red jasper in here because we're getting ready to kick some A. Okay, we're getting ready to kick some A. We are going to put red jasper whew, in here. This stuff here. I just, I'm feeling it through the glass. These these red jasper stones that I have here. Whew, you, can, you can just feel it vibrating. It's like humming almost. That's how high the vibration of red jasper is. And that's why we're using it in this today because like I said we getting ready to kick some A double S <laughs> we are gotta put some in here too for our incense mm -hmm. that's right and now these this is the quartz crystal okay quartz crystal if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I believe in quartz crystal because they motivate. They motivate and they amplify. Okay, and so anything that you're working on, whether it be bringing towards you or moving it away or, or breaking up a blockage, this stuff, quartz crystal, is what you need to use. We gonna put some of that in here. Cause we amplifying our work. Okay, we're putting some of that in here too. Whew, this is, this is, yeah. I can tell, wait a second, hang on, wait. If you put your hand, if you're making this and you put your hand over this, you should be able to feel like a vibrating sensation. Yeah. Let's try it with this here. Okay, okay, yeah, that, that one is, whew. That's amazing, you guys. I hope that you guys will make this so that you can experience this vi vibration here. I'm gonna put one of these chunks in here of cinnamon. Wait, one more, one more, one more. Okay, I hope you guys will make this stuff so that you can experience it. This is really letting you know your stuff is working. It's working. Shake it up. Okay, and I don't know if you've noticed it, but I'm using my right hand to shake it, not just because I'm right-handed, but because this is my power hand okay it's my giving hand okay and i am giving this life i am giving this life i am giving this power i am imbuing it with life and power to do that which i desire for it to do and it will and when you make this and you do it the same way it will work for you it will. If you do it the same way, it's going to work for you. Now, one thing <laughs> that I wanted to tell you, I'm not going to do right here, but make sure that you put a tag on this, what you made. Put a tag on it and put the date on it, put the name on it as to what it is. And if you can, put the ingredients in there. Unless you're just going to write down the ingredients on a nice piece of 
paper or something, put it in your book of shadows, your book of knowledge, your journal or whatever. But I would still put the date and the name of what this is. I'd also put the moon phase on there. So you can keep track of that and how strong you're becoming. Okay, because like I said, normally when we're doing a spell like this, you would definitely do it on a Thursday, which is Thor's Day, which is a financial, a money day. Okay, but we would do it on the moon that is waxing and building up. But this here, what we're doing, this is a little bit mm, more... This is the type of magic that is a little bit more um, advanced, I guess you could say. And that's why you have got to have your thoughts straight when you're doing this. You've really got to have your thoughts straight, okay? And so this right here, I will just go ahead and put here. I love this little jar. Don't you guys love that? Isn't that pretty? Look at that. It's always nice to be able to have beautiful jars and bottles that you can work with because it helps to enhance the atmosphere. It helps to enhance the atmosphere that you are working your witchcraft and magic in. And for me, for me, as they say here in Germany, das Auge ist mit. That means what your eyes see, it's important to how it tastes to you. And this uh, situation, we're not talking about taste on the tongue. We are talking about taste with regard to that which we are doing, okay? This, this is power, power in a jar. And when you make it, it's going to be because you've made it and you have imbued it with your power and you have actually connected to the items, the ingredients that we've put in here because you've actually connected to the goddess or the god or the creator or God, okay, or the universe whomever it is that you respond to. And mine, for me, is the great goddess. And in this case today, we are calling on goddess Hecate. Goddess Hecate, excuse my language, but she's a bad bitch. She really is. Goddess Hecate, whoever, whoever has done you wrong, you call upon goddess Hecate and you ask her to send that negativity back to them however many times she deems necessary and let her handle it. And she will break through all of the blockages. However, I have to say it, however, make sure that you have yourself cleaned. Make sure that your living is clean because when you call on Goddess Hecate, <laughs> she is an equal opportunity destroyer. Is that a good way to put it? So make sure that you have your own backyard cleaned up before you're trying to get Goddess Hecate to clean somebody else's backyard, okay? very important for you to know because this goddess does not play. She does not play. And that's one reason that I like her. And, and for years, it took me years to get to the point where I know that I can work with her because I've got a clean conscience, a clean mind, a clean soul. And I know I'm not doing anybody dirty. But those who have done me dirty, and those <laughs> who have tried to put their little measly spells on me, you see where I am today. And I thank the great goddess for it. I thank the great goddess and my entire spiritual support group for stepping up to the plate, for getting behind me, for lining up beside me, for carrying me on their shoulders when I needed it because I couldn't walk myself. I thank my entire spiritual support group for helping me 
to grow into the woman that I am today. And you know what? When you really put your all, when you really become serious about working with witchcraft, when you really become certain about it, then you become certain within yourself. That's what this is all about. It's not about worshiping a goddess or a god. It's about building that fire within yourself to help yourself. And these goddesses and gods, which are all one, will help you to do this. Now, my magical family, that's what I've got for you today. I thank you for having been here. If you stayed throughout the whole video, thank you very much. And I hope that you will make this and get something out of it, just like I have, just like I am. And I send you the brightest of magical blessings and we'll see you the next time. Bye.